Oh, I better stop eating those because we're going to need them today. Because we, you and I, are making them hot chocolate right now with some real hot cocoa. Not the powder that comes out of the packs, but we're actually going to put in some chocolate. Going to use milk, not water, because we all know water is really gross in your hot chocolate. Or at least it doesn't taste nearly as good as the milk. What we're not going to be using is chili peppers. And the reason I say that is because the Mayans actually used to put chili, I think it was red chili peppers, they would put in their hot chocolate. And I don't think it was milk, but they would put water in these, in a jar and swish it back and forth and put some hot, some chocolate in there and, or I think they'd grind up the cocoa bean and then wait till it got cold. So first off, we're not gonna wait till it gets cold, although I'm sure it was a, it was a great, uh, great drink the way they made it. And we're not going to be using red chili peppers. So this is going to be almost nothing like the original hot, hot cocoa, hot chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Actually, I think there is a difference, but uh, I don't know. Don't really care. I just want to make some milk with chocolate in it. So let's do that. <laughs> water hot on our double broiler. I'll just show you that. Here, let's try three cups of milk. We have a 10 deciliters or four cups. Yeah. Around that. Let's do, so I'm going to add, if you want to look there, about three. Oh, that's a lot of milk. That's a lot of milk. I'm going to have to go get some more new milk from more milk from Walmart tonight because that is not going to be enough for breakfast. That's scary. Okay, it is time to put the real hot cocoa in the milk. Here is what the hot cocoa looks like. It's kind of a, it's kind of dusty actually. It doesn't taste terribly well. That was fun looking. It's time to cut some chocolate. Another note on the chocolate for all you chocolatologists out there and everybody else who just likes eating it. This is 45% cocoa as opposed to an average of about 30%. Which means you have a lot more cocoa, which is a part of chocolate that makes it chocolate, so that's great. That means it's more chocolatey. Uh, and in addition, this is, it has notes of honey and notes of caramel which I believe is added afterwards. So they'll actually have cooks who go and I'll mess around with the chocolate, add this, add that, and see what tastes really good. And in this one, they've added caramel and honey. And that's, I think it's really good. You can't actually, I didn't notice right at first that there was those, that I had those two ingredients in it, but I did notice that it was, it had a very, definitely unique chocolatey taste. Just, just a hint. So that's, now that one, that's what makes chocolate like this incredible. So at this point, I have two choices. I can either A, follow the guidelines that I found online, or B, I can do whatever I like. And I'm probably gonna do B, because I like a lot of sugar. And what I'm talking about is that 
Uh, I've seen where they want us to add, I don't know, a couple tablespoons or teaspoons. I think it's teaspoons, probably teaspoons. Yeah, probably teaspoons of granulated sugar. However, I really like my sugar. So do I put in a lot of sugar? Or do I just put in what people recommend? I don't know, let's try and see. On second thought, maybe it doesn't need that much sugar. There's already a lot of chocolate. You have a lot of fat, a lot of fat. Well, I mean, at least all the fat that there is in whole milk. And compared to water, that's a lot of fat. So, give it a stir. Mm, yeah, that has a good, that's a very, very nice color. Usually cho chocolate's just kind of, uh, I don't know, it's black. All right, yeah, that was the right choice. Uh, now, let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you guys about this point part. I got some heavy whipping cream. And you know what that heavy whipping cream is for? It's heavy whipping cream is so that we can make real whipped cream fresh. And I have a bowl in the freezer, so it's gonna be nice and cold when I put all the ingredients in there, not, not heat up the ingredients at all during the long mixture, or what might be a long mixture process, depending on how it goes. So, I'll show you that. It is literally, well, not quite. It is literally so thick that, yeah, it is, it is really thick. That is beautiful. So, I'm not completely sure because I haven't looked at the camera yet, but I'm fairly sure that I just spent five minutes talking about how good this hot chocolate is using crazy chocolate cow analogies and the camera wasn't even turned on which is probably good because I was mm, wow I'll just I'll just keep this to myself if any of you get here in the next 10 minutes there will probably still be some left I have literally never had hot chocolate this delicious in my entire life. I feel like this is a really fattening, like, as in, I'm gonna fall over like the marshmallow man and never get up because it's mm, mm, that delicious, it's so delicious. Wow. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Whoa! 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 Oh, it's a close one. I almost found the milk. I am actually super excited for this part because I get to use this sweet knife to chop up unnecessarily a bunch of already very small chocolate chips. Oh, you know what?